Eric Chang here with U.S. Combat Sports, standing next to Eric Flanagan. And uh, first things first, a lot, a lot of people have been wondering, is it O'Sullivan or Flanagan? Flanagan. Flanagan. All right, because there's been some confusion on some, some of the cards. Well, as you know that Eric Flanagan has come onto the amateur MMA scene in Wisconsin and has amassed a 4-0 and record in mixed martial arts for amateur, and he's also won a recent kickboxing fight. Um, first of all, you know, what got you into to the sport, and, you know, like, why have you stuck with it? Um... It's not really one thing for sure, um, kind of a number of things. Uh, it's kind of big out in my hometown of Seattle. My brother's really big into it as well. Um, got a lot of great training and coaching out there. Kind of jumped me into it whenever I got out there for a visit one time and then came back and discovered all you guys out here at Combat USA and pretty much just supported anything I really wanted to do and had the support to keep going and find out where where it was going to take me. and. Guess went down the right path. All right, and um, after your recent kickboxing fight, uh, you knocked him. Uh, had a, what was a TKO in the second round, I believe. Yeah. And um, you know what, what? What was that like? You know, what's the difference between the kickboxing scene and the mixed martial arts scene within Wisconsin? Um, I mean, didn't really seem like there was going to be much of a difference between kickboxing and um, MMA because I like stand up either way, but um, just the. Coaching here really set me up really well for it. I mean, all, we, all we've been doing is focusing on all just stand up, and we haven't really done anything ground for the past couple of months, and that really got me ready for the kind of switch over. But um, like I said, it kind of just great coaching brought me there. So, and the more interesting thing about most amateur fighters generally aren't in the spotlight as much, so we don't really get to you know a feel for who they are. You know, what do they do? You know. Um, and like as a fighter, why do you feel your what are your strengths and weaknesses right now, despite being so early in the game? Um, just I still feel like I have stuff to prove. I mean, every single fight is is as big as the next one's gonna get. I mean, you don't really focus on what's coming up next. It's just every fight that you have, you have to be ready for it, and can't really take anything from granted. Every time I step in that cage or step in the ring, I feel like I'm just back to square one. I mean, you you still have to make a name for yourself and continue the spotlights on you. All right, and then the other thing is, is that um, wh where are you looking next? You know, like when's your next uh, mixed martial arts fight? Because I've heard that Wisconsin uh, on Wis on the Wisconsin Fighting Championship, February 11th, you'll be on there. But I've also heard other things. You know, can we get an idea of where you'll be going right now? Um, yeah, I will be uh, down in Milwaukee on the 11th uh, in the main event um, on that show with Duke Rufus. Um, it's also for a title shot for their 145 pound belt, um, amateur belt that is. Um, after that, I'm not really sure. I had a management, um, I had a management out of Chicago ask me about maybe going to Indiana for um, maybe be on an undercard for the Bellator if I go pro. Then, if not, not really sure. Um, next season, the top eight in the state, that could be another possibility. So, all right. And another thing is, um, being this, uh, I believe your first title shot within the mixed, uh, martial arts scene. You know, what does does it mean to you uh, right now? Um, I can't really say it's the, I mean, it is the biggest fight of my short career so far, but um, like I said, you just got to take one fight at a time and focus on what I need to focus on and hope it's, you know, hope everything goes well and keeps going the way it's going. I mean, can't really let the stress and pressure get to you that much, but just keep focusing and training harder and harder than my opponents and hope everything works out. All right, and uh, you seem to be always trying to improve yourself. What are you looking to improve yourself on this fight and what are you looking to prove in this t title shot? Um, just improve everything. I mean, tighten everything up, clean everything up. Um, you know, work on my ground as as much as I need to. Work on my stand up as much as I need to. Um, always have coaches that are always willing to come in and and help in any area that I need it to. And with this title shot, I mean, that's huge. I mean, it's going to open up a lot of more opportunities that you know are waiting for me. I feel like whenever this happens, so you know, I'd be more than happy to bring a belt back to the gym. All right, and of course, we're wishing Eric Flanagan good best of luck for his title shot February 11th at the Wisconsin Fighting Championship in Milwaukee.